So I don't even know what to say about Joe Biden at this point. We all know about the gaffes, but the gaffes have now transformed into these long sentences that I don't know how else to describe other than just pure word salad. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend. She's been my friend in and out of public life. And on top of that, he forgot Barack Obama's name, very notably, um, on the campaign trail. Because they invaded another country and annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. Right. He's saying that it was President, my boss, it was his fault. So Joe Biden's campaign has been an unmitigated disaster. And just on a human level, I actually feel bad for him. I feel bad because this individual clearly is not supposed to be running for president. You should be at home. Your mental capacity is deteriorating rapidly before our very eyes. You shouldn't be doing this. You should not be in the race. So just on a human level, I feel bad for him. But on the other hand, Joe Biden, throughout his career, has been a very selfish individual. He has taken positions that are awful for purposes of political expediency. And now, you know, even if I can, you know, sympathize with him and empathize with him to a degree on a human level because of all of the horrible things that has happened to him throughout his life, even though he is wealthy and he's a privileged former vice president, he's gone through things that are absolutely horrible that no human being should have to experience. He has, you know, witnessed the deaths of family members. So I feel bad for him because of that. But now it's to the point where he is using their deaths and politicizing them to argue against progress, to argue against policies specifically that would save lives and prevent future deaths. So, you know, put aside all of the gaffes and let's just look at Joe Biden's politics. He released an ad where, I kid you not, he is using the deaths of his family members and his son to argue against Medicare for All and attack advocates like Bernie Sanders of Medicare for All. This is absolutely disgraceful. Take a look and then I will show you someone who is in a similar situation as Joe Biden what they had to say about this. I was sworn into the United States Senate next to a hospital bed. My wife and daughter had been killed in a car crash. And lying in that bed were my two surviving little boys. I couldn't imagine what it would have been like if we didn't have the health care they needed immediately. 40 years later, one of those little boys, my son Bo, was diagnosed with terminal cancer and given only months to live. I can't fathom what would have happened if the insurance companies had said for the last six months of his life, you're on your own. The fact of the matter is, healthcare is personal to me. Obamacare is personal to me. When I see the president try to tear it down and others propose to replace it and start over, that's personal to me too. We got to build on what we did because every American deserves affordable health care. I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. That's so disgusting that you are trotting out your son's death as a political prop to say we shouldn't have the one policy that would eliminate deaths due to people not having health insurance. It doesn't get any lower than this. This is basically as low as it goes. This is gutter politics. And he equated what Donald Trump is doing in repealing the Affordable Care Act, chipping away at it, to someone like Bernie Sanders. And he didn't cite Bernie by name, but essentially he attacked Bernie and said he wants to start all over. Now, first of all, Obamacare was starting all over. Bernie Sanders is not starting all over. He is taking an existing political program, Medicare, which has a very high approval rating, and he's retooling that so there's no more gaps and then he's expanding coverage. That's not starting over. We are not saying that, you know, we shouldn't have Obamacare because we hate Obama. But what it seems like you're saying is that you just want to hang on to the Affordable Care Act because there's sentimental value there because Obama did it or uh, the, uh, uh, your boss did it, if you can remember his name. And it's just, it's so disgusting. Now, Amy Valela, she is an individual who lost her daughter because she did not have proof that she had health insurance. 
This is what Amy Valella had to say in response to Joe Biden using his son to argue against Medicare for all. I can imagine what it's like for my child not to have the health care she needed immediately. I had to hold my 22 year old daughter as she took her last breath. I had to watch my children wail at her bedside. I had to be pulled away from her coffin. No middle ground, Medicare for all. And then she adds, Scott knows what it's like for his child not to have the health care his son Danny needed immediately. As a matter of fact, 30,000 Americans every year know what it's like to have their loved ones not have the health care they need immediately. People are dying. That's the reality of not having health care immediately. The only true solution is Medicare for all. And she included the image. This is the reality of having no insurance and for-profit hospitals. Shalin was a student who worked two jobs and had just moved to another state. She went to the hospital with every symptom of a blood clot and was told at an ER to go get insurance and see a specialist. They didn't even give her a medical screening, a right she had under MTALA. She left humiliated and continued working on obtaining insurance. Time was not on her side. Unfortunately, she died from a pulmonary embolism. Her life could have been saved with a simple, inexpensive test. No middle ground, Medicare for all. And on the show, we have shared Amy's story multiple times. And if you watched the documentary, Knock Down the House, she told her story, Shalin's story. So to see Joe Biden exploit his son's death, trot it out as a prop to say we shouldn't have Medicare for all. When his policy would allow for medical bankruptcies and deaths due to a lack of health insurance to persist, there's nothing to be said about that. Joe Biden is a disgusting cretin. Not only is he unelectable because his brain is melting out of his ears very much like Donald Trump. He doesn't have the cognitive capacity to run for president, but he's also not electable because someone who is willing to say that we shouldn't advocate for Medicare for all, otherwise we're somehow going against the legacy of his son, that's someone who is not qualified to represent the American people because they're so disgusting, so dirty, that they would use their own son's death to argue for a system that maintains the for-profit status quo where people do die due to a lack of health insurance. And sometimes they have health insurance, but they can't afford the deductible and they still either go bankrupt or die. So this is the lowest thing that Joe Biden has done in recent history. But, you know, this is par for the course with a corporate Democrat. These corporate Democrats are soulless. They are spineless. They have no core. They only care about getting elected. They only care about getting into positions that are powerful because they don't care about political ideology. They care about power. So that is disgusting. Shame on Joe Biden. He needs to drop out, not just because politically he's out of step with the base of the Democratic Party, but because it's evident that he does not have the capacity to run for president. Stay at home, Joe. Retire. Enjoy your life. You're wealthy and privileged enough to where you can live out whatever you want to do. The rest of your day is doing whatever. Stay out of the race because we absolutely don't want you and we certainly don't need your disgusting gutter politics in the 2020 election cycle.